The so-called Minsk agreement on ending the war between Russian-backed separatists and Ukrainian forces is floundering on many levels, but prisoner release appears to be one of the most intractable. Both sides claim varying figures for how many prisoners they're holding. The Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe, the mediator in the peace process, cannot force the exchange of prisoners, while Kiev and the separatists cannot even agree on prisoner lists. Both appear to be using the issue to force concessions on other topics, which include holding elections in Ukraine's separatist region and restoring Ukraine's full control over its border with Russia. Unfortunately, the Minsk talks have not produced any results. That's why we are asking the European Union, the OSCE and the international community to help us solve this issue. Всю міжнародну європейську спільноту, щоб вони нам допомогли у вирішенні цього питання. Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch allege that both sides have arbitrarily detained civilians, sometimes holding them incommunicado for months in prisons that the authorities don't even acknowledge exist. Voldemar Zemchugov was captured by the self-proclaimed Luhansk People's Republic and kept for more than 11 months in captivity and claims he was tortured. Repent and we'll treat you better. Yes. I said to them that I think they're traitors, that they've set up an occupying regime and I'm not going to be a traitor. Nikolai Vakaruk, a coal miner, said he was a blameless civilian improperly held in detention by Ukraine for a year and a half. He claims he was seized during a search of his home in the frontline town of Uransk. He claimed he was held in this security service detention facility in Kharkiv, where he was repeatedly beaten in an attempt to get him to confess to being a separatist. When I saw the video in which the SBU allowed people to check the place, I recognised all the rooms, but there were no people. It means the people were hidden somewhere. They've all been taken away, because if they had been released, they would get in touch somehow, through social media. Amnesty International said Vakaruk was one of 13 prisoners released from the Kharkiv facility in July following the group's report on war prisoners. Ironically, before the Minsk agreement, prisoners were handed over more freely.